Hey friends, today in this video I am going to explain you about a very interesting features in Windows 10 or Windows 11. So because I am just using Windows 11, so I will show you this on your Windows 11 operating system. So this feature is called like Windows Spotlight and it's a very interesting feature that helps you to just uh, rotate the desktop wallpaper and your lock screen images on the daily basis. So basically these images are usually sourced from the Bing and it's changed daily and it requires internet first. So if you have connected your system on your internet and if you have enabled this Windows Spotlight feature, so your wallpaper will get changed daily automatically and it's a high resolution images. So how we can just enable or disable this Windows desktop uh, uh, like uh, images changing features that is spotlight so you need to just go on the settings inside the settings here you need to just click over here and just type spotlight and it's a part of background image settings so here you can see this is the personalized your images and if you are just selecting the features so you have the four options one is this picture once you select the picture so this requires uh, images that you have you can change this picture as per your requirement by selecting this option but if you just enable this windows spotlight features over here so these images are coming from bing microsoft bing so it's just uh, downloading it in your local machine and it's changing frequently as you have configured but default it's a daily so you can change this options and if you want to take the backup of your background images so you need to sign in with your uh, uh, outlook account or hotmail account by clicking on this option but currently i don't want to download it on your my outlook i want to download it in my local machine and in a different folders because it's changing frequently and uh, you want to make it uh, available in your d drive or somewhere else so you can change it as per your uh, requirement so i used a powershell script and this powershell script is helping me to download these images so this is the script and uh, the source so actually when you are connected on your internet and if you if you have enabled this spotlight feature so these images are stored inside this path so we'll see how this is available so i used this uh, uh, powershell command then this will help us to go inside this path so i'm just executing it now you can see these all are the images so currently if you see the format is different it's not like dot jpeg or something else so you want to download these all images in separate locations so what you can do you can use this powershell script and uh, this is the source i just uh, specified the source location and if i want to download it in a different folder so you can change it the location where you want to save these all images so if destination path exists, so this will just use the existing path. But if this does not exist, so this will create a new path in your destination. So this specific uh, command is just helping us to finding out the destination or if destination does not exist. So this will just create this destination over here and get children, uh, child item path is source. So this will just uh, take the all entire files which is saved inside this location inside the source. So this is just uh, reading this and after reading this, so it's also validating the length. If the file length is 200 KB, so this will just uh, uh, put it inside the uh, location that we have specified as destination and this will create .jpg over here. And, uh, and accordingly this will copy the name whatever that exists in the source location so this will just copy the entire files with the extension of .jpg so I'm just going to execute this so this is saying something that uh, we need to check because source is just 
opening curly braces and destination after that we need to also specify the closing curly braces over here now this has been removed now I will execute this again let's see this has been executed so again I will just copy this path and uh, I will use one more command over here to go this path or you can just directly go there so explorer and uh, I'm specifying this let's see if I can go from this command or I will go directly over there now this has just opened so now these all files have been saved inside the let's see in the D drive and uh, go on, on the PS folder inside this PS folder you can see these all images are just saved in my D PS folder and we can use these all desktop uh, wallpaper images uh, for other systems as well or we can configure it through the group policy for applying the entire uh, uh, for uh, entire systems in your network so this is the method that you can follow for just downloading the spotlight images from uh, your uh, environment variable path from here to your destination so thank you for watching this video